I'm going to walk you through how to set up virtual audio cables without the use of any hardware or software such as GoAlexar or VoiceMeter. Setting up your audio is one of the most important steps to giving you full control over your live stream. You may be wondering, what are virtual audio cables and why do I need them? Think about all of your audio that could be playing at the same time. Basic desktop sounds, Spotify, Discord, game sounds, etc. Now imagine each of those having their own audio track that you can mute from your live stream while you continue to hear them in your headphones. By the use of virtual audio cables, we can separate our audio into individual tracks and have full control over who and when things can be heard. One example is with Spotify. Let's say you are live and you want to get in the zone with your own personal soundtrack. However, with copyright lingering over your head, you can't partake. Once this is set up, you will be able to listen to any music you want. All you have to do is push one button and Spotify is now muted from your live stream and only you can hear it. Let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, we need to go to VB Audio Software and we need to download our virtual cables that we're gonna be using. So depending on what system you're using, you need to grab either this one or this one, depending on whether you're using Windows or Mac. Um, this first one is free. It's just gonna be one. Uh, you're gonna click on it and it's gonna start the download. Uh, for this, you're also going to need two additional, at least one additional cable. So you can either do A and B or C and D if you have multiple things. Um, with this example, I'm going to be showing you everything, having an audio cable for everything on your desktop, and then your Spotify and Discord. If you have other things that you want to separate out, you can follow this tutorial and do exactly what we do for A and B for C and D. So we're going to need A and B too, so we're going to grab those. Grab the Windows or Mac, whichever is um, applicable for your system. And then we are going to click download. So here you're going to have to pay for A and B. Um, it, you can pay whatever it is that you feel comfortable paying. Um, the lowest price is $5. If you want to change it, just come over here and click on this bubble and choose which one you would like to purchase. It says Euro. Don't panic. It's also in USD. Add to cart. And then awesome, we're going to proceed to checkout. If you wanted to do A, B, C, and D, you could do all four at the same time. Just add your cart and go get the other one. Proceed to checkout. And then follow this. Your audio cables are more than likely going to be in your download file. So you'll want to basically look through and find out where they downloaded. Um, you're going to have a file that looks like this and you're going to need to extract them so you're just going to right click and extract all um if you would like you can move it from your downloads to a folder that says virtual audio cable so you know where it is and all that good stuff once you get both of these extracted this one is just going to have the one this one's going to have a and b so this one's going to have two all right so let's start with the first one and you'll click on it. Um, you're gonna need to know what kind of system you're running. Um, most windows are gonna be 64 now. Uh, so you can just verify um, with a, you can type system information and this is what we're looking for. So this says 564. So we're going to go here. Or you open this, you want to make sure you open it in administrative mode, run as administrator. If you don't, it will not work. It's going to pop up a thing that's going to have you select yes. And I already have them installed, so mine says remove driver. Yours is going to say install driver. And you're going to click on this button, and then it's going to have a pop-up saying that you've successfully installed this cable. We are going to go back, and we're going to do the exact same thing for A and B. So here is A and B. We want to make sure that those are extracted. Um, and then we're going to start with A. Do the same thing. Run as administrator install and then for B we're gonna do the same thing run as administrator and install once we have all three audio cables installed we can go ahead and close this 
and we can go ahead and close the web page. We're going to need to look for your sound. Um, you can type just sound in your search bar and it'll pop it right up. So this is going to be our output default device. Um, a lot of times this may be your headphones. For all of this to work, you cannot put your headphones here. You need to put this cable input. So this was the first audio cable that we downloaded. This is the, um, the free one that we had. We're going to click that. That is now going to be our default. Any audio that comes onto your PC right now will be going through cable input. If for whatever reason you can't hear anything, please don't panic. We're not there yet. Um, we're going to want to go down to app volume and device preferences. So uh, like I said, this example is going to be using Discord and Spotify. So you can see all of these things. Our output is still here and all of our outputs here are all default, which means they're all going to default to cable input. So we want to specify Spotify so that we can hear our music and the stream can't. And we're going to click this as cable B. You can do cable A, whichever one. I use cable B for Spotify. Um, and now, well, what's happening here? We don't see Discord on this list. Well, maybe it's because you're not using audio on Discord right now. So if you just join any type of voice chat, I just joined my own voice channel in Discord, um, you'll see that a Discord popped up. And here, this is cable A. So you can leave the bottom one alone. The top one is fine. Uh, select Discord cable A, Spotify cable B. Um, on Discord itself, and then you're gonna go to voice and video and you're going to make sure that Discord, whatever you put here, so this is cable A, output is cable A. And then the input is gonna be your microphone, whatever that might be. Okay, Discord is great. So now that we have these cables separated, um, one thing to note, Spotify will not give you a place like Discord did. Um, this is all we have to do for Spotify. So let's go back. And we're going to scroll down and go to sound control panel. Depending on how wide your window is, this could end up up here too. So if you don't see it, just look in both places. Um, so we're going to click on sound control panel and it's going to pop up this window. Um, playback, we want to make sure that when we select cable input, it doesn't pop up this set default. If it does, you need to click it and set everything as default to here. Next step is we're going to go to recording. We're going to go down. We're going to go to cable A. We can basically just go right down the list. So the first one on the list, we're going to go to properties. We're going to go to listen. This is not check marked. We need to check mark it and you need to select your headphones. So I use these headphones. All right. And then you're going to hit apply and you're going to hit OK. You're going to do the exact same thing for these. You want to make sure those are listed. And then we're going to do the same thing for the last one. If you have Spotify running and you weren't able to hear it, now you should be able to hear it. You should be able to hear everything from those. Now that we have our system set up, let's see what we're going to do with OBS. So on OBS, uh, we're going to go into our settings and we're going to go into audio and make sure that all of these things are disabled. All of them are disabled. We're going to hit apply. We're going to go to output. And do you see how there's an audio track here and a Twitch VOD track here? These are grayed out for me because I am recording at the moment. Uh, but once you're not recording, those things will not be great anymore and you can move them around. Um, so I like my audio track. Audio track is whatever the stream is going to hear live. That's what they hear live, ready to go in action. Um, Twitch VOD is whatever is going to save on your clips and your VOD itself on Twitch. Um, so this is really helpful for, let's say, Spotify. Um, once you have audio track one and audio track two selected, you're going to hit apply and you're going to hit OK. Now we need to import our audio because we've just disabled all of our audio. 
So I'm going to get rid of this Spotify. Just to show you, we're going to add a audio output capture. Input capture is going to be your microphone. Output capture is going to be everything else. Click on audio output capture. Um, here, I uh, already have some stuff on the list. Let's just call this sound test. So we're going to do sound test for Spotify. And hit OK. Now you can see this comes up as a default device. So what was our Spotify? Let's just double check. Spotify was cable B. So we're going to go to cable B and we're going to select it and say, OK. Now it is added in here. So you can do the same thing for Discord and the same thing for the desktop. Now for me, I put Discord on one. I put Spotify on another and desktop is the cable input, the free one we got which is our default sound. Okay. And I just call that desktop audio. And so once you get all three of them kind of in there, you are ready to go. Make sure that you do this for any scenes that you may have. And then we're going to, once we have all of our stuff in there, we're going to right click our audio mixer and we're going to go to advanced audio properties. So this sound test is a good example because this is what it's going to look like when you first add something. It's going to have every single one of these tracks marked. But we don't have a sixth track or a fifth track or a fourth track. We have a third one, but that's not important for this video. Um, so our first audio track was what stream hears. So we want stream to hear Spotify. But our second track was Twitch VOD. So we do not want Spotify on our VOD or our... Um, clips. Uh, so that's going to help whether depending on what type of music you listen to and if you're using your VODs to create content after the fact, um, this can be very helpful because then you won't have the audio on there and maybe you can overlap other, you know, uh, audio as well. Um, we're going to take it off of, of Soundtrack 3 and you can see here just as an example Discord. Live stream can hear Discord, but I do not have Discord saved in my VODs. Um, that's just to uh, help me when making videos in post-production um, to make sure that, you know, there aren't any extra voices and I can use them for anything I may need, whether those be tutorials, adventure videos, or anything of the above. So I find it that it helps me. You can do whichever one that you would like. And so once this is all set up, you're going to click close and you're ready to go. Now, um, if you are streaming and you decide that you don't want discord, you don't want stream to hear discord, you can mute it. Stream will no longer hear discord, but you will hear it. Same thing goes with Spotify. Same thing goes with desktop. You can mute all of these audio cables. If you guys have a stream deck, you can open up your stream deck and make uh, different audio mixers for these things. So for me, all I have to do is press a button and Discord's muted. I can unpress that button and Discord is unmuted. Let's completely get rid of this so I can show you. We're going to go to OBS Studio. So you can go ahead and grab this mixer audio, pull it down. You can give it a title if you'd like. Um, the collection is untitled. The source is Discord. Let's give it an icon. So open Stream Deck icon library. You no longer have to make your own. Um, again, if you don't have any in here, you can see that I've added a few different ones. Um, you can go to the store, icons, and decide which one of those that you like. Once you install, they will show up here. So for me, I'm just going to grab this Discord and then I'm going to hit OK. And now we have our thing and now I can press Discord and it mutes, unmute, ready to go. If you find this video useful, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Catch me on a live stream on Twitch. See you later.